It's also been more than two years since the murder of Lyft driver Brandon Cooper. The suspects in his case have been sentenced, so the focus now shifts to Lyft. Speaking at NAACP Dayton headquarters today, Cooper's family says Lyft is still responsible for what happened in early 2022. News reporter Sartaj Singh joins us live in the newsroom. Sartaj, you were at that news conference today. What does the family want? Brooke and John, it was the end of one chapter, but the start of the next, as both the family and the NAACP Dayton unit now focus on the upcoming civil lawsuit against Lyft. Now, police say they found Brandon Cooper dead in his car back in January of 2022 after four teens lured him into a location to rob him. Cooper was driving for Lyft when he was shot. This week, the two suspects were sentenced to prison. Detrayvon Mitchell was received 25 years to life, while Tylan Peaks received 27 years in prison. Cooper's family says that they are thankful that Mitchell showed remorse and pain for the crime, but they said that they did not receive the same from Peaks. While they are still grieving, the family says their attention now turns to later this year in a civil lawsuit where they say they will hold Lyft responsible for Cooper's death. Lyft, in my opinion, the only thing they didn't do was pull the trigger. They have Brandon's blood on their hands. The only thing they didn't do was pull the trigger. They are responsible. According to the NAAC Dayton unit, the civil case is currently set for this September. Now we have reached out to Lyft for a statement on the civil case, but have not heard back. Live in this newsroom, Sartaj Singh, 2 News.